My name is Dave and I work as a bioinformatician in clinical scientific computing. I help other staff groups gain knowledge from the data stored in their clinical systems. For example, I've built tools to compare radiotherapy data between different hospitals. I also build software that gathers data from patient scans to be used for research and recently I've been involved in testing new AI tech. The best thing about my job is that I get to work with people from many different professions, which keeps things interesting. A lot of my work provides data for research, which in turn improves treatments. This has a direct benefit to patients, which is really nice. I also enjoy writing code, which I do a lot to solve problems or help with projects. Every project is different and I'm constantly solving new problems, so things never get stale. Something surprising about my job is that communication is probably the most important part of it. It's really important that I understand what data is needed for a particular project and sometimes the people you work with don't know what it is they should be asking for. This means that it's important that we're able to read between the lines and use our expertise to suggest and persuade our colleagues to enable the best outcomes for everybody involved in the project. Day to day, I work with a lot of other computer scientists, but I also regularly meet with doctors, radiographers, engineers and physicists, depending on which projects I'm working on in that given week. My job has a surprising impact. Most of my work helps with research, and this could lead to better treatments in the future. Some of the code I've developed has helped to streamline processes within the hospital. For example, I've developed a tool that means patients are booked in for treatments quicker. This means that wait lists are shorter, and that's helped both patient and staff. I had a slightly unusual entry into clinical and scientific computing. I got A-levels, dropped out of an engineering degree, and then in my late 20s I did a part-time degree while working in a radiation safety team in the NHS. I then did the NHS Scientist Training Programme, or STP, which enabled me to become a registered clinical scientist. I initially worked in radiation safety, but I used my coding and computer science skills to transition into a clinical and scientific computing team. Clinical and scientific computing is a constantly developing field, so if there's an area of computer science or coding you're interested in, you can probably create whatever opportunities you're interested in, whether it's automation, AI, deep learning, or something completely different.